at the Viper oil pattern again. Set things up, and here we go. Bullaby will begin. Good shot. That's yeah, right. Pace. Oh, strike a piece. Starting position. Watch him just drop this right into the swing. There it is, right there. I still might get there. Yeah. Power mix for Simonelli. He's been giving lessons to several of the top stars on tour, including myself. You should take a look at Kim's arsenal, Hypercell. Hypercell strong with surface. Highest rated ball in his bag. Six pin. Mentally in there. What looks like on the outside is often very different on the inside. Oh, eight pin. Softer with his speed, so the ball has time to turn the corner. If he's going to go more direct and straight, or he's got to pick up the ball speed. So it just depends on the angle that he wants to play. And I mean, right now he looks pretty good. His speed looks good. String of strikes in the semifinal. He's got the front two here, third frame. I made a ball change from game one where he started with thug life because MJ, it's all about thug life. I try to maintain. That's an eight and one. A There's a little bit of transition, a little bit of breakdown. He goes to something a little less aggressive. Power was, mix leaves the 10. That was muscled and fast to save it. He's trying to save the shot. To earn his spot in the semi. Three, six, seven. In order to keep falling further behind. Comes up empty. Better yeah. pitch, ten back. He leads by thirty four, spare work in fifth frame. around the seven. Much better shot, you can see the fall. And obviously the results are paying dividends. Spare for Simon. He said that a major counts like a title and a half. Seven pin erased on the messenger and a little uh, how do you do for Ryan Simonelli. Pressure on my opponent. This to cut the lead of Simonelli to 23 with a strike. That was wide from the get-go, double wood, 3-9. Yeah, looked like he tried to help that one. Yeah. In the United Arab Emirates and the HH Amir Cup, the Doha Cutter. Expensive international experience, looking to win here in the States. Picks up the double megabuck competition in the Vegas area. So he's gathered some experience in the game. Back to back. Wide left. Yeah, that's just a bad shot. And starting to feel in extend hopes of a player of the year run. Messenger, no. In the Seminelli household. All right, now Ryan's on. Very conventional hit. Light and a three pin. I feel you did. I feel good. Um, I just missed the move on the left lane. Well, I re didn't realize it was tight. Championship tighter. under your belt. Congratulations to you, and um, we look forward to seeing you on the lanes again. Thank you. Thank you. Qualified there as the tournament leader, beating Patrick Allen for his first title. Here he is in the foundation End frame. It. Yes. End it. That could be your dagger. State of New York in 2004, moving to college. He was the rookie of the year and first team All-American at Erie Community College in 2004 and 2005. Something uh, my peers now. His uh, PBA. You see. Results at the end of the year. And I believe they, the voting starts right after the Scorpion Championship. Calendar year season. Their vote will Better determine the player of the year. I, Ryan I Simonelli is the PBA Viper. Kim Volavi earns a runner-up 
here in the Viper. What do you say? Some player of the year votes. What do you guys say? To sit down and look at every single stat. Shows made, money, average, points. Yeah, a lot in your future, brother. Everything. And then I would weigh my decision based on all of those stats. So Vanelli just said this young man has a future in pro bowling. Yeah, he, he's a good, play, good young player who needs some experience. And he's going to learn a great deal from this. We enjoyed our time speaking with him, and hopefully we get to do it again. Ryan Simonelli cashes in on his fifth PBA Tour title.